guys welcome to my channel it's me suma thank you so much for watching so in today's video i'm going to talk about or compare two protein powders that i have used um so it's going to be oziva protein for women and health card my first protein so let's begin with the video so i have both of the protein powders here with me so this is the health card protein and this is the oziva protein so and i also have my laptop right here so i'll just go through prices first and the quantity and then we'll start off with the comparison many people uh, you know we do not understand why we usually take protein uh, when we can just have our protein through food that's right you can have protein through food but then in our day to day life when we are you know kind of Uh, working and when we do not have much time to prepare a nutritional meal that contains everything in correct proportions and if you are someone who is doing strength training or if you are someone who is burning a lot of fat i think you should you know kind of take help from a protein supplement like this because these will help you to give you the amount of protein your body needs per day or they'll kind of um, how do i say fill the gap uh, or fill the balance of the protein that your body needs so that's how these protein powders help and also they help with reconstruction of muscle and also they'll help you with strengthening the muscle taking a taking a protein supplement is not bad at all but taking something that contains very harmful ingredients and which are not certified by fda is very wrong so do not get it mixed there are many there are many protein powders which are not like that and which are safe to use and there are other protein powders which are used by people to gain muscle very quickly or to kind of burn extreme fat burning pills and all no we are not going to talk about it so yes let's begin so firstly i'm going to speak of oziva so this video is not sponsored by any one of them and they do not know me at all so yeah <laughs> So with Oziva I got a 15 serving one 500 grams 500 grams of Oziva protein powder gives you 16 servings and I have got it in a flavor chocolate and it retails for 16 it retails for 1465 rupees so here oziva always has kind of these offers going on combo offers and stuff and during these offers you can just you know get the protein and it's usually it retails for 1700 but right now it says it is at 13% off or you can message them and ask them if they have any deal and sometimes surprisingly they give you deals because yeah they do that so it's a it's a small tip so whenever you're buying protein from oziva message them on fb or instagram they can get back to you with a coupon code that's how my sister bought protein she kind of you know um, messaged them and they gave her a good coupon code when it comes to health cart health cart my first protein again i took the chocolate flavor and i took 2.2 lbs of it and it retails for 699 so usually it is for 1200 it seems but then they retail it for 699 you can find it on amazon i'll leave the links in the description box do not forget to check them out so this is the price when you compare the price the price is very much um, i think there is a huge difference in the price because it's just 500 grams and this one is of 2.2 lbs and yeah it is very much uh, close to 1 kg so 1 kg of uh, health cart is for 700 and then half kg of oziva is for 1400 so there is half half price gap there um so yes uh, that is it with the prices now let's come to individual things so oziva e Oziva claims to be this brand, protein brand that contains mostly ayurvedic ingredients and they give a detailed list of everything they use and how they use the they kind of give you a very big description which is really nice because you get to see what they are using and what not the protein powder contains 23 grams of protein per scoop and zero added sugar and 5.5 grams of bcaa so one scoop is of 32 grams in that 32 grams you get 22.94 grams of protein so now when it comes to bcaa bcaa is nothing but branched chain amino acids so these amino acids are energy boosting ingredients and they'll kind of Uh, provide you with energy while you're working out or after you have finished working out so that's the reason many people take their bcaa uh, while they're working out uh, but then this also contains bcaa and it is of 5.5 grams which is really good quantity for you and so i usually take my protein post so yeah it gives you a good protein intake this doesn't contain any kind of sugar they have used stevia stevia is this naturally sweetener natural sweetener stevia they use it and and this one is free of soy gluten 
non gmo artificial no artificial sweeteners and no preservatives so that is all with it diva claims to give you the following things it says it helps you with hormonal imbalance it helps you with uh you know skin and hair and also it says that it has clean protein blend so it has different um ingredients guys the ingredients are very much like you know like this like green tea cinnamon and other um vitamins and then there is satavari flaxseed tulasi curcumin so there are many they, like this ayurved indian ayurvedic ingredients added along with the actual vitamins and you know minerals added to this blend so when you open it up so you you it comes with a scoop like this so this scoop is of 32 grams one scoop of it and you kind of add it in your water shake it well and have it so now when i have to talk about the taste of it it doesn't taste that great it is very mm, mildly tasted it does i mean it says chocolate but it doesn't but the chocolate is not highly uh, overpowering or it is not like yeah it's a chocolate drink no it doesn't it doesn't taste like that it's a very basic kind it has a very basic taste but then it has very good things in it so i would definitely recommend this one if you are if you are a woman and so now let's talk about the health card protein this is health card's my first protein and it is of chocolate flavor again and it can it says it has zero added sugar 27 vitamins and minerals and three best quality protein so this one i think it contains soy whey protein because it contains uh, soy in it this protein is soy based and it is a whey protein and then this one contains how many grams of protein so this one contains 9.6 grams of protein per scoop so that is of 32 grams of per scoop and this one is 30 grams of scoop so this one 30 grams of scoop, scoop contains 9.6 grams of protein only and there is also bcaa but then it is not very much like how oziva has it has 1.89 grams of bcaa again this protein contains all the other minerals stated in you know the oziva brand but then it doesn't contain any kind of ayurvedic kind of stuff so the sugar here comes from uh, sucralose that's what they mentioned and it says it contains soy and dairy derivatives and while oziva doesn't contain them so this protein is a very basic protein this protein powder tastes like chocolate and i can actually make chocolate milkshake with this protein powder i can add it in my smoothies and it tastes so yum and you know it's like this few things which tastes really good ha huh, are kind of questionable but then it is a really nice alternative to your high sugar filled chocolate powder uh, whenever i want to have a smoothie or whenever i want to add some chocolate powder in anything i can go with this because it contains all of these things and also it tastes so good so i'll just open but if i am strength training and if i need the protein intake for my body then i can't rely on this because it contains only 9 grams of protein so this is one scoop of it it smells like chocolate <laughs> so yes so if i am someone if uh, you see in my diet if i really want to have protein then i can't just rely on this one because the protein content is very much lesser so that's with it but if you are someone who is on a start i mean if you are just starting out uh, on proteins and you don't know what to do and if you you, you don't want to go at these the, all these muzzle blaze and all of these extreme protein powders iso isolates and all that stuff you know when i read only i'll be like oh my god what does it, what is it saying it's like a foreign language but then if you want to but if but if you are someone who is starting their journey of fitness and stuff then this can be your powder because you can start off with this protein powder because you'll get used to it and it will some way or the other way help you with providing the minerals that you need and it you kind of get accustomed to it and then you can slowly learn about other things and jump up but if you are a woman and i do not about i do not actually know about men guys because i don't know how men function with their body so i'm talking about women so if you are someone new and if you want to try an alternative and this will really help you as a pre workout it will give you some energy for you to work or you can just come back home and have a like have it like a post workout milkshake so it's really it's really nice like i only mix it with milk and have it because it tastes it tastes yum as i told you but that one i mix it with water and have it because it's like the protein powder so when it 
so and also it is pretty much cheaper when you compare with the Oziva one so if you are in a doubt of if I have to like see if I'm starting my journey I can't just go ahead and uh, blindly put 1500 on just one protein powder it doesn't make any sense because I'm not used to it what if I don't like it what if I'm not regular to the gym what if my diet goes off the roof so if you're someone like that but then still want to try something then you can go for it because it is like as the name suggests my first protein start off with this one uh, spend minimum on this one kg dapa you can use it on in your milkshakes you can use it as a protein powder uh, and everything as such and it will it will help you it's not a dummy protein it is protein but then it might not give you the bulk you're looking for or the muzzle you're looking for all right so this is with both of them and if you and I would highly suggest see there is nothing wrong see I won't say this is better this is best and all of that just that this is like an this protein powder is for people who know what they're doing the Oziva one is for people who know what they're doing in the gym who are very much regular to the gym and who actually um, how do I say who actually know their meals and nutrition and everything so for them this is great because they uh, burn a lot of energy and calories and they need certain things but this one is for beginners like who has no clue about what they're gonna do but they are on their fitness journey right now and they're starting something this is for you this is for beginners so this is the uh, this is a beginner level protein less expensive really good and uh, minimum minimum whatever it gives you but this is next level protein so if you understand proteins then you can go on to this level and spend much uh, and then you can spend more on uh, something else because by then you will have some knowledge so yes this is up with both of these protein powders and um, let me know if this video helps you and also please let me know if you would want me to do many more videos on gym or fitness or whatever i'll definitely try to make them thank you so much for watching and i shall see you and I shall and I shall see you in my next video. Please do not forget to subscribe or comment. That will mean a lot to me. And I shall see you in my next video. Until then, bye.